Welcome to the podcast with Face, Pat, and Tiz. So yeah, uh, what the fuck? They, they... <laughs> Gotta love it when you start off the uh, topic like that. What the fuck? <laughs> Go ahead, face. What the fuck, Kanye? What the fuck? Yeah, he wilder. Um, I can support some of you this shit, but I had to take a step back, man. And just look at you as a whole motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I don't know about you, Kanye. I don't know about you, bro. What the fuck is this shit in Paris you put it in? The fuck is going on, bro? You talk about the t-shirt. Mm-hmm. This white lives, it just, the white lives matter shit. Him playing the race card just to mm-hmm. toggle both sides. You feel me? Like, uh-huh. depending on who you want to appeal to, he'll play that dumbass race car. I'll play my white race car. I done dabbled in there enough. I got enough pull. I got enough people supporting me and back me. I can play that card. Well, I need the black people. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Fuck you, Kanye. And I mean that in your in your statements, in your, in, in, in your media personality, but your artwork, I fuck with that. I fuck with your music, but you personally, <laughs> fuck you, Kanye. Fuck you, Kanye. You personally. I don't know you personally, but the shit you do as a person, fuck yeah, you, you Kanye. I, I'm going to say this, man. I, I ain't going to say fuck him. I ain't. But he damn sure need, like, it's, we got to stop list like paying this nigga attention like that's what's going that's what's going to do it. he got to get become obscure Call your goddamn go see nigga got to stop paying him attention and and let him fall off the map because as long as we keep giving him attention we're feeding his ego good or bad attention he doesn't care at this point i don't think and i think it's the mental health shit i think it's a mm-hmm. lot of stickers around him that's like yeah, good job. Like they're pumping up the bullshit. I think it's a lot of um yes, man. Uh, that's going yeah. on from the divorce to his mama dying. I don't think he ever got over that. I think it's just a whole lot of shit. But at the end of the day, we gotta ignore this motherfucker for a minute. Like, he, grief down. he like a baby that like throwing tantrums. Like sometimes you can engage, but sometimes engaging with him make it worse. Whether you are fussing at them or whether you're engaging with them in a calm way, like just the engagement itself is the thing that's like driving them to keep. Oh, let me keep acting a fucking fool. Let me kick on this. Like it's almost like he's looking for attention, but he's not getting the right. And I think as long as we keep giving him the fucked up attention, which is the glorification and or the condemnation, it feeds a ego part of him that's like. Okay, well, I'll keep doing this because this at least feels comfortable. I'm used to this. We got to ignore this nigga. And it's hard because every time we ignore him, he come out with a new shoe or a new album that gets people up in an uproar. But Or he cussing out some random celebrity. For his health, we got to ignore that. Man. Tripping. Fuck you, Kanye. Fuck you mean white lives matter? How about this? Fuck all the color shit. Life matters. How about we just do that? Life matters. I don't give a fuck what your color is. Neither neither color matters more. We put Black Lives Matter out there to highlight that we was getting killed at a long rate. No one really gave a fuck. So we just wanted to let you know it matters. We here. We know white lives matter, motherfucker. Yeah. Did they just they die just like we die. They bleed just like we bleed. We all bleed. Life motherfucking matters. Niggas bleed just like us. 
I don't give a fuck if you Indian, real Indian, Native American Indian, Caribbean Indian. I don't give a fuck what you are. You bleed. You die. You live. You got life. That's the fucking shit that matters. Fuck the color shit. I hate motherfuckers who try to ride this shit and continue this fucking stupid ass division. It ain't about this man-made bullshit on color, man. Race is a man-made shit. Yeah. Made from a nigga from Portugal. The man made shit we should be up in arms about is money, goddammit. Finances. That part. That's what the fuck we should yeah. be up in arms up in arms about. But division is constant, constant, constant bullshit. White lives matter. Him and who 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 was that mother? I, Cause I can't stand that bitch in that picture either. Excuse me, I don't mean to call him a bitch, but that heifer in that picture with him either. Who was the motherfucker with the white and the white white lives matter? What's it? Ain't that, that Owens bitch? Excuse yeah. me again. Candace Owens, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought it was that bitch. I, I mm-hmm. thought it was her. Is her? You can't stand there, one of them person. Once again, artistically, I fuck with you, Kanye. Keep putting out your art. But keep your fucking mouth closed if it ain't about your art. I'm tired of motherfuckers going to celebrities about their opinions on world matters. These niggas don't know about world matters. They answering a the question on the it. microphone. Go to the people who are trained. Go to the politicians. Go to the people in political science. We've said this plenty of times before. No one gives a fuck what Josh got to say. Where no one gives a fuck what Yay got to say either. Where is he? We don't give a fuck. We need. We to- don't <laughs> care. We don't care. And it's time for the masses to realize these people's opinion ain't important. That part. The only reason you see politicians now getting music artists to speak for them because they know motherfuckers care about what they got to say for some odd ass fucking reason. Instead of getting another uh, someone who actually has a valid or expert opinion in the matter that's being debated, they yeah. get a motherfucking killer mic or somebody go. We need to do this. Yeah, nigga, we all know it needs to be changed in the fucking hood. But let's talk about an let's see an expert who knows how to actually make that fucking change sustainable. Well, I would say Let with Killer Mike, he's I think, Killer Mike is more of a translator. Man, I'm gonna tell you or whatever. You need to look to rappers like podcasts, like what we do. Like we spark the conversation, but we can't look to people that are not <clears throat> in a certain field for like answers. Now, like if we want to ask questions about breeding a dog, we make an ask fake. That's something that he actively does, and he puts time and effort into. It. You see what I'm saying? But like, if we're talking politics, we're talking from our opinion, but at the same time, we gotta respect it as that. We can't keep looking at these people like they speaking some fact or like they their opinion is like more weighted than, like we gotta put some weights on these opinions. Like if we talking astrophysics, Neil deGrasse Tyson's opinion is heavier than mine, hands down. It ain't no debate. If we talking hip hop, I'm gonna defer to Guru. You see what I'm saying? Like, these are like, but if we're talking about fatherhood, then I can speak on that. If we're talking about being a black man, I can speak on that. And have a valid opinion. But I, I think we need to really put some weight on opinions and where they come from and what they're about and where, like, if we're talking music, I'll take Kanye's opinion on that for sure. Fashion even. But politics, race relations, I don't, fuck no. I don't care what the fuck he talking about. Because he's not not he's not knowledgeable in that realm. And you can tell by the things he says. And if you're knowledgeable in that realm, then you automatically know as soon as he opens his mouth that he's not knowledgeable in that realm. And I think that's the thing. I think when you're knowledgeable in the realm, you got to stop giving credence to these people that are not intelligent in that field like there's different types of intelligence somebody can be a brilliant engineer and be horrible at understanding pop culture and how society works from that realm but somebody can also be an amazing filmographer and understand how to take the best shots oh my god the best shot and can tell you why the certain light exposure makes this shot better than this one and more dramatic and all that shit but that same person might not be able to tell you how to successfully have relationships with people. So I think it, 
take your knowledge from people that seem to be speaking factual information, the information that usually if you listen to somebody that know what the fuck they talking about, you can go find another source that backs that shit up. That's true. Like when um, that breed shit, we talked to another breeder that said the same shit that he said. So we 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 see the alignment there. You know what I mean? Like it's like, oh yeah, that shit checks the fuck out. You look that shit up over the internet, yep, that shit checks the fuck out. Mm-hmm. When I come talk talk about education, I know the fuck I'm talking about. When you talk about tech, you know the fuck you're talking about. If you if you get to talking about some goddamn Marvel, I'm gonna defer to what the fuck you say. Mm-hmm. Because I know for the fact you put the man I was in to be knowledgeable on that subject and your your expertise in that area supersedes mine. And I think that's the problem. A lot of times we keep going to people that knowledge don't supersede ours and acting like because they're in a position of power in another area that that matters here. Like, yes, he's great. He's a great musician and fashion person. But he ain't goddamn... Uh, what is it, Michael Eric Dyson? He ain't corner. Yeah. <clears throat> he he wants to act like he ought he naturally is. Like he like he was born. Let's be clear. With that, but he's not even Ted Cruz. Like no. He's not he don't read books. it's enough in that realm for me to say, okay, <clears throat> I'm going there. Like I would say my experience is more than his because I actually studied for two years in political science that realm and you, that was my and you read thing. books right on that field though you can't submerge yourself in in a certain realms and then step out of that and act like you're an expert here like that's that what is it the dunning kruger effect where people think that they're yeah. experts in areas that they're the least knowledgeable in yeah man he got that like it's okay sometimes to just <laughs> say i don't know i ain't quite sure I tell the motherfucking heartbeat, I don't know. I tell you, I don't know about some shit. I do know about shit. What's that old adage? The the smartest people know that they don't know anything. Like, mm-hmm. Whatever that is, like, there's some. They're gonna keep learning. It's something to say. Gonna... I don't know. Would, would, would tell me, it, it, teach me. Let's research it and find out what's going on. Like they like if a, a person that know that they don't know gonna keep learning, that makes them smarter than the people that think they smart. Bro, my degree is in health and wellness, and I defer to people who teach me new things that I did not know about health and wellness. It's okay to not know. Like people study their whole lives in certain fields and have some person that comes out of nowhere with a different way of looking at things and figures out something that they didn't know, and it's okay to do like. We got to be scientists in this world. Science is ever evolving. As you get more details and facts added to your repertoire, you should evolve your stance. Nothing should be so concrete that we just, like, we've gone from literally in our world from thinking that the whole, like, I can cross the ocean and be on the the what the the east side of where i'm coming from no you're gonna be in a whole nother place and you still gotta cross a whole lot of other shit when you get back to where you think you start like we went from places of people thinking that the earth was flat to like being able to scientifically prove it's round over and over again to the point where it's considered a fact like facts can be proven over, still and think over, they... over and over and over and over again you did like Kanye got to get with the program, like, and we got to stop looking at people like Kanye. Like fuck that shit, fuck Ja, and Yay, and, and, ja. and Share, and any other one syllable motherfucker that's talking about something they not an expert in. Now what I, I feel like, I feel I listen to Share about divorce. I ain't gonna listen to her about no goddamn uh, biology. I don't know that to be her field. I feel like Cher and John caught, caught astray in this conversation, but <laughs> <laughs> but um, I would God, say, uh, in my opinion, with Kanye, um, let's say I like his albums. Uh, I didn't really like Jesus, and um, a lot, a lot of his videos, especially the one where he was like a Kira, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
I think his clothes look like homeless people clothes. That's why he put them in garbage bags and everything. I also think that he's a spoiled, entitled little bastard. And when he wants something his way and the white people are not letting him, that's when he calls on black people or whatever. He hustles emotions and stuff like that. And he try to hide it behind what he think is a deep message or whatever. I also like most deaf rendition of White Lives Matter where he, um, he instead of in the, where the V is in lives, it's a different color. So it looked like White Lives Matter. And then they have somebody in the front with their eyes. So I like that version. But all together, I personally think and I, I've been kind of feeling this way for a while. Like, even when he first came out, he just seemed like he didn't fit. But um, I, I, I kind of feel like that deep down, Kanye West, a.k.a. Ye, or what I like to call him, Kanye Kardashian West, is a fake-ass nigga. All right. I'm going to agree with this <laughs> nigga part. And I'm gonna go a step further. I'm this is conspiracy tears coming in. Mm-hmm. I have no evidence of this. But what if the powers that be, whoever they may be, are clutching their last straws at like a race division? You know what I mean? Like that last lineage of the old boys network is like clutching at that. Mm-hmm. And they're like, here we go. Let's continue to pump these different little divisive tactics into the community to like split them up so that we can get them back to the point where we was at in the 50s and 60s. Like, you watch everything, like a bunch of stuff is pushing us toward a place where race ain't gonna matter no more. But you keep having these little moments of like, oh, let's pump this in here. To make sure we we pump this up. Like, what if this is like part of that plan? It just like let's keep them let's keep them mad and, and and angry at each other and yeah. And that's always been the plan. They just got to find different ways of doing it. It could be. It could be part of a bigger picture, a bigger scheme. And he's he's and he a could just be a system. Too. You know, he could be a flunky and a cog in the system. And then again, they may have paid this nigga to do everything he do and shit. I mean, hey. I mean, nothing is out of the imagination. Right. That could not really happen. It's 2022. Donald Trump was president. Exactly. So. This is very true. This is very true. And speaking of Trump. Any anything is possible, man. Like, who the thought fifteen years ago, twenty years ago, Donald Trump would be motherfucker president? What the Simpsons did, but that's me. Yeah, that's, there. I was about to say that's me. That's me. That's me there. But you know, he did say possible, he was gonna man. be it, and he did say he was gonna be the president in the eighty. Yeah, and I will that. say that. I will say this. Speaking of Trump. Another Trump supporter that's uh and got his seven to some fuckery is. <laughs>